it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 9 of the Helpful Fox Funko Sun. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. You should have closed your video. Excuse me, I hate when that happens. You want to go out to eat? Oh, that looks so good. Oh my god, look at that. Mm. Is Senko going to try to make it? I mean, it is something new for her, and I'm hoping that she doesn't screw it up, but you never know. I mean, just because you are a good cook doesn't mean you can't always, like, make something 100%. There was only one time where I messed up on something I was making. I don't remember what I made. And I was upset. <laughs> <laughs> My parents were like, no, it's okay. And I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but now I'm a good behind kick. I make really good meals. I don't want this show to end. Is this most embarrassing for you? Mm-hmm. Look at shit all. Oh my god. Like, well, you probably never asked. I mean, okay, you know, why didn't Senko just, you know, go on the internet and go on YouTube? <laughs> you might mess it up. Unfortunately, it's not. <laughs> Is it bacon? So, onion, bacon, butter, the milk. 
I think that's the cheese. A macaroni. Well, you're supposed to boil it first. Yeah. Don't be like people who like to eat hard ramen noodles, which I think is super weird. If only she knew. Okay, add the macaroni. Mm -hmm. No, just... <laughs> yeah, oh my god. She's gonna burn the apartment building down. So, bacon and onion. So I'll take the, um, oh, no, add cake flour and milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, It's a little too much. <laughs> no, because then it's going to be weird. It's going to taste weird. You only really use sugar for baking. I use it for snacking. <laughs> How much cheese is your oh, that's not a lot of cheese. But like mm. Like I said, if only you knew. Really? No, no, it's gonna take time. <laughs> I was about like what twenty minutes, thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just remember to save some for him. They gonna eat it all. They gonna eat it all. I, I just, I know it. I know it. Mm-hmm. 
yeah, just make sure. Enough sparkling. Oh. My God, yes, honey. I, I know that that's her way of helping. Uh, that too. <laughs> oh my god, I'm awesome. So fucking cute, my god. What did you make? <laughs> yeah, but technically this don't count like bullets. But that's okay. Did you put sugar in it? There needs to be an episode where Shiro goes to cooking school. I mean, girl, you need to know the difference between salt and sugar. I know they both are the same. <laughs> like, honestly. But you gotta taste it. Put it in your mouth and taste it. I know. Why don't you just not wear the jacket? Hmm. I'll do it. Mm-hmm. Please don't fuck up his hair. No! Oh my god, she's such a perfect wife! Married. Yeah, but still, I got a really weird feeling. Oh my god, she's 
He did a big chunk. Look at how big that hair is! God, he's so cute as a kid. Done? Isn't that good? <laughs> Jesus. Nope, it's fine. Let her do it. This is what the ending's gonna be like, washing his hair in first person, and you know. Mm. Yeah. Except with having like something on your face on it, but when you like go to the salon or like barber shop and do your hair, oh my god, that's the best thing. Yes. It's like when they have nails and it just scratches them. Yeah, where? Uh, yeah. Oh shit! I thought she was a big. <laughs> no! Oh. <sighs> 
Oh, okay, thank God. True. I'm dead. Oh my god. I have, like, they gotta stop. I can't. Just. Oh, they're such a good couple together. They make me cry. Like, oh my god, it's just so fucking perfect. Don't ruin it, I swear to god. Please don't. I mean, we're almost done with this show, and I really don't want it to be ruined. But, girl, I mean, I wish we could have <laughs> magic where you could just, like, if you fuck up on <laughs> someone's hair, you just let them know, like, reattach it, it's fine, be okay. But, because when she cut it the first time, you saw that big gash. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I felt like the, the, the um, the distress, uh, I think, what it, what's the Pokemon called? Rowlet from freaking uh, Sun and Moon. I felt like him, like, oh my god. Jesus, she just cut a big gash out. Like, oh my god. She's not gonna be able to put that back on, but she did. And oh my god, the fact that he cut, she cut something was so sweet. And even though it was her first time making it, it was really nice. But she put her own twist in it. You're like, Aw. Now I actually want to cook that. Because, honestly, that thing looked good as hell. I've never even heard of that before. But, ish. Like, between that and curry. Those are the two things that I really want to make. That and then, like, rice balls. Yeah, and then you'll eat and eat and eat until you're sleepy. Oh, that looks so good. Thank God Shadow didn't make it with a damn. Let me put sugar in it. love her. She's just so freaking sweet. Like, oh my god, there should always everyone should have a little Senko inside of them. I'm just saying. Like, not, not like that, but like, you know, just personality-wise. She's just so freaking adorable. But honestly, Shido needs to go to a freaking class where she needs to know the difference between sugar and salt. I don't know why Jessica just doesn't say, like, okay, here's the difference between sugar and salt. Taste salt. Okay. You see how that's kind of bitter and salty? Yeah, that's salt. And you feel the texture on it, how it's kind of like rocks. Yeah, there you go. That's all. Okay, here's sugar. It's like teeny tiny. I mean, give her like some sugar cubes and then let her feel on the sugar cubes and then let her get like the really like tiny specks of sugar and then have her feel on that to know the difference. So the next time if she ever wanted to cook for Jasko again, she'll auto automatically know the difference between salt and and sugar. This girl is like, yes, let's put sugar on everything. You can't put sugar on everything. I, I, I mean, like, okay, I've never met anybody who's, like, put, and I hope to God no one puts in the comments and, like, oh, I've done that. Like, macaroni and cheese and sugar. Um, I recently found out, and I didn't know that my mother did this. My mother makes, like, this really good, I think it's, um, macaroni salad, and it's good as hell, like, the best thing. Like, my, anything my mom makes is, like, so fucking good. 
especially when it's homemade. Homemade ish is like the best thing ever. Um, so she made it and I was watching Game of Thrones at the time and I was kind of helping her watching her cook while I was also watching Game of Thrones. So I kept going back and forth between my room and such. And I saw her put sugar in the macaroni salad to just kind of like sweeten it up. That's where it's good to do it. Yes. No. Yes. 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 But when you are trying to make ramen, you don't. <laughs> you do not put sugar in it. If it's cooking or baking, yes, you can use sugar. But when it's something instant, no, that is going to be so gross. And it's going to, the, the balance is going to be off. That's like, I think there was just like commercial that was uh, using one of those, um, I think it's like one of the decoder things or something that, no, 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 no. It's, um, it was like a tape thing that you could uh, put words, uh, the letters on to make something to the, the difference between like certain things. And this, it was, um, a birthday party and the mom had made her daughter a cake. And so she sliced up the cake for all the little kids and they're all like, yeah, happy birthday, yay! And they took a bite of it and they're all like spitting it out. And this is like one of my favorite commercials. And to the point where even the dog that was eating the cake spat it out because it was salt in the cake and not sugar. So, I mean, yeah, because the fact is they both look the same. You have to get something like some tape and write sugar and salt on one so that you know the difference. Or, I, I mean, you're, you're going to get screwed in the end. And, you know, shit, I was just going to get screwed in the end. I mean, let her go to a damn cooking class. Let her go to a cooking class. Go on YouTube. I mean, but ja she's always played a game. And Jessica's always, like, you know, drawing. So, I mean, <laughs> she don't ain't got no goddamn time to go on YouTube and be like, How what's the difference between salt and sugar? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I fucking can't. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of the Helpful Fox Senko song. If you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 10. Bye, guys.